Good morning, folks. We've got looks at Earth from NASA and the ESA, a supersonic shoot test, and geoengineering concerns out of Exeter, Reading, MIT, and the Met Office. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours on our star were exceptionally calm. While we've got coronal holes and plasma filaments all over, nothing eruptive is taking place. The bright region incoming is a sunspot group that appears to be spreading by the hour. That is not a good recipe for solar flaring as magnetic interaction will be waning with the spread. And so while solar flaring should remain low, we are right now this morning entering impact of the coronal hole solar wind stream off that departing dark patch. The density shock is about over and we expect speed to rise today, but the lateness of arrival by about 12 hours or so means it will be weaker than expected and low-level storm conditions is about as much as I'd expect today. Top quake of the last day was a rare shake in South Korea measuring magnitude 5.4. There is a considerable amount of minor to moderate damage being reported. And just southeast of there, scientists have noted a surge of magma into an eruption chamber and are now raising alert levels in the Philippines. Eyes on it. Animation here from NASA is part of their Living Planet series. What this observer found most interesting about the animations is the Arctic reduction in snow in spring, while snow still lingers to the south of that across the landmass. After that, we go to the ESA with looks at ozone. Let's challenge ourselves to see if we can spot the three times they contradicted themselves in just that one short video. Up next is a great bit of where do you put the camera on a rocket. Not only was the stage separation incredible to see, but this was a test of their new parachute made for the highest supersonic speeds ever, and which they hope will allow for a perfectly soft landing on Mars. Top story comes out of an international team from MIT, the Met Office, and two British universities discussing the potential for cyclone effects and major drought when we spray the sky. One cannot help but read their politically calm tone, as significant concern over chemtrailing. Folks, if you haven't gotten pushback on observers' topics of interest, then you haven't been talking. Be sure to see the video linked below on how to introduce the observers' community. We've got wind maps followed by shots of our star to close, and we greatly appreciate your support and involvement. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.